scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Shrieking skull will shock your souls. Hey guys, it's Nick from this here, and on to the second character from the live streams breakdown. On to the champion of Mortal Kombat, Liu Kang. He was just revealed the other day, and I did a very short breakdown on what we saw from his trailer, but this one's going to be more elaborate. Now, this Liu Kang variation is called Dragon's Fire, and it is very, very similar to the Mortal Kombat 9 Liu Kang. If you didn't notice that the characters that are returning from Mortal Kombat 9, most of them all have a variation that play very similar to their Mortal Kombat 9 moveset. This would be Liu Kang's. He has the fireballs, the bicycle kick, the flying kick, everything that Mortal Kombat 9 Liu Kang had is pretty much all he has. Another thing to note is that he does look significantly older, similar to how Kung Lao looks, and he is just, you know, Liu Kang. Um, one thing I also noticed is that, I mentioned this in my Liu Kang video, yeah, they, they very toned down his gibberish, the what the what the what? They Yeah, they toned that down so that, you know, it's not constant every time he does something. They only do it occasionally because they can't completely remove it, but they toned it down, which is, makes me happy. And Liu Kang's looking pretty good. If I had to use one, it would most likely be Dragon's Fire, as he is quick and he's very combo character as well, similar to how I mentioned Shinnok, but probably even more so because Liu Kang has always been pretty good with combos. So this next variation of Liu Kang is called Flame Fist Liu Kang, and this one is all about fire. His fire projectiles have different startup animations so that they will be, you know, different to work with, similar to how Cyrax and Sector in their human costumes in Mortal Kombat 9, they had different setup animations for certain things such as teleport and rocket shoots, things like that. He has it for variations, Liu Kang does. So that's one thing is the fireballs. Another thing to notice is that he does have massive chip damage. Like he must have the best chip damage in the game, like beating out Johnny Cage, like nothing. He can activate his flame fists, hence the name of the variations, where he lights his fists on fire, and while your opponent is blocking and he punches them, the damage that he does is incredible. Now still, it's not going to be as much as regular punches as they are blocking, however it does significantly more damage than normal punches do while blocking. That is what chip damage is, is when it does lots of damage while they block. So. He's got a lot of chip damage which will keep your opponent on their toes for this variation so that if you have to deal with any combo spammers, or no, sorry, not combo spammers, if you have to deal with anybody who blocks spams, then you don't have to worry with this chip damage, you'll still be doing a hell of a lot of damage and they'll be out of luck. Also, his bicycle kick has turned into what they call bicycle punches, where it's basically just a bunch of quick punches similar to what Takeda has. And his fireball enhancement is actually just one big fireball opposed to the two fireballs in the last variation. Duelist Liu Kang is probably the most unique of all of his variations. He can actually switch his projectiles from light to dark, and the light projectiles, what happens is his, his regular fireballs turn into these light balls type of idea, where they are much quicker than the original fireballs that he has in his other variations and it will, they said that it's good for zoning, which I can agree with on that, from just from the looks of it. And then you can switch it to a dark projectile, where they, it turns into this small, dark, plasma, cool looking ball thing, and he can shoot it out, and what he can do is he can stop the ball in place, um, near the opponent, uh, would probably be a good idea, and it will explode after a short period of time. So it can definitely freak out the opponent, keep them so that they aren't just staying in one place and when they come up close to you beat the crap out of them and if they stay in place well then they get exploded so it is certainly in a unique variation and it looks pretty cool definitely going to be something to watch out for and like I said even when when you keep them in place with the dark balls you can switch it up to the light ones just to screw them over so it's definitely Liu Kang is definitely a character that's going to keep you on your toes and all of his variations he's looking pretty unique Looking pretty cool, a lot better than he was in Mortal Kombat 9. I'm liking his design, I'm liking his x-ray, his fatalities even, alright. Uh, and his gameplay looks pretty cool, so Liu Kang is definitely a character that is worth playing, and I have a feeling he's going to be high on the tier list. Russ Poe Productions is going to be happy to see all of this. As always, this has been Nick from us. See you later. Let's see how he likes to Kamehameha!